Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and today um, we're gonna be going over Big Nickel Over G. Now, Big Nickel Over G is a formation, brand new formation that they introduced to Madden this year, um, and this formation specifically has a glitch in it. Um, this specific formation has a very, very big glitch in it. It and it has to do with confusing the offensive lineman, and it's honestly it's kind of game breaking. I don't, I don't, I really don't know what to think about it, but I just I know that I've I've played it online, and it's just it's a really tough thing to deal with if you don't know how to counter it. So today for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to run it and how to stop it. So here goes nothing. <laughs> um, we're going to be coming out in cover two because apparently cover two is the most consistent way for it, it to come in. And all you're going to want to do, you don't even have to base a line. You don't have to do anything but pinch your D line and then crash them up. And then when you crash them up, all you have to do is hover in between. Now, what a lot of people don't notice is now this is this is what happens to the D line or the O line when you hover. This is what happens when you're not hovering. The blocking assignments change as if as if you're running like a, a run play. And I hope EA I hope EA patches this because this is this is honestly this is this could potentially be the most game breaking thing in the game. So as you can see, they are dropping back if you're not hovering above the line. And if you hover above the line, they don't drop back. They're just sitting there. They're they're just running your normal blocking assignments, which is Kind of off but when that happens as you can see we're blocking our, our running back as well um as you can see when that happens it's weird and they get a win on the defensive side of the ball now what i mean by a win i mean that their offensive lineman loses the loses he loses the battle against the defensive end and this is the most consistent thing in, in the game and because we're not sending like a blitz or anything like that, the running back doesn't help. The running back right here does not help to he doesn't help block, which means that they're going to get a win on both sides and it's a GG's. Like your running back's not going to be able to block that. If you try to block a tight end, if the if the D lineman on the opposite side is really really good, that tight end will end up getting bum rushed. Uh, and I, I I know you guys have seen it online where uh where a where a defensive end or a linebacker like if you played with like LT sometimes they end up getting this animation where like they just completely swim through they completely swim through and it completely destroys it completely destroys any tight end that's in the game pretty much unless your tight end has like superior superior blocking the tight end is not going to pick that up and they're just going to come through now that's it for the blitz this is tech this is on it this is technically a blitz in the game but it's a glitch with the blitz um so yeah you just pinch your d-line and you crash up you don't contain and then you hover and i'm pretty sure that you can hover above either hold on let me make let me make sure pretty sure that you can hover above yeah you can hover above either anywhere in between the gap yeah you can you can hover anywhere between the gap and it changes the blocking assignments of the of the lineman which obviously it that shouldn't happen they should always drop back if you're passing and this shouldn't be the case you get it that happens every single time as you can see it literally just happened and it happened again right, happens every single time where the d lineman is going to get the win on the offensive on the offensive lineman so a lot of people do not know how to block this. Um, the easy, like, and this is this is where you guys got to get in the lab and help out and stuff like that. Um, all you have to do to block this is shift your D-line. You have to block a running back. Now, obviously, you're losing the battle already if you have to block a running back while they're only sending four. But you have to block a running back to stop this. And then you have to shift your D-line to the opposite side. So our D-line is shifting to the right. And then if you want even more blockage, more, more help stopping it, you ID the same side 
defensive end of where the running back is blocking. And you guys should have all day to throw the ball, even if I'm hovering in. As you can see, we're going to hover in, but you see how the line is shifting to the right side instead of sh instead of staying staying kind of put where they were last time. You guys are going to be able to block this blitz. And this has been sweeping through uh, Weekend League. This has been sweeping through online gaming as a whole. Like Everybody has been running this. And when you do, as you can see, we have all day to throw. All day to throw. All day to throw. All day to throw. As long as you move around in the pocket, you guys are going to be able to stop and do your thing when you guys are facing this formation. Uh, the only time that this formation really gets really gets nasty is when somebody tries to blitz like an extra guy now obviously that is when everything gets a little a little crappy but this all right you know we're gonna save that for we're gonna save that for another time but that that is how you stop the glitch of the nickel over g uh the biggest issue with this with this formation is it's in every single playbook so that is all you're gonna be like if you guys are facing somebody I, the way that I've seen it is people are coming out in the, like if they stop you on first and second down and you're in, you're stuck in like a third and 13 or, or something like that, they're coming out in this to make sure that they get really, really good pressure on top of forcing you to block a running back so you can't have a lot of time in the pocket. And it's kind of frustrating, but hey, the, it's, it's part of the game. People have to get in the lab and lab it up to try to find something that, that helps them out. And as you can see, well, we blocked the running back there, but when somebody blitzes you, if you block a running back, that running back is gonna eye it's gonna eye the person blitzing. It's gonna start guarding the person that's blitzing. That's why it's still the same thing to block, even if you guys are trying to get a blitz off in this. So we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna shift to the opposite side and we're gonna ID the defensive lineman right here. And even if you're hovering over, you guys should be able to have some good pressure some good time in the pocket as you can see we've got good time in, in the pocket plenty of time to make a read if they're block if they're sending six obviously they're going to be coming in screaming but this is how you stop nickel o over g and this is how you run it so let's run it one more time we're going to run it one, one more time and then we're going to block it one more time now th this is how you run it the running back is already blocking but we're not iding we're not sh shifting him anywhere as you can see Bruce Irvin has gotten the win against that offensive lineman every single time. So now let's block it. Let's block it. We are going to shift our D line, shift your O line to the right side if your running back is blocking on on the left. To shift your to shift your O line, it's L1 or left bumper and move your right stick whichever opposite way the running back is blocking. So if the running back is blocking on the left side you want to shift your blocking to the right side if the running back is blocking on the left side you want to shift your blocking to the if you're if your running back is blocking on the right side you want to shift your blocking to to, to to the left side but for this case we're blocking on the right side and then we're going to id that defensive end it just helps with the blocking it makes the blocking a lot a lot better and that's pretty much it we are going to hover above and even even though I'm using two controllers, I'm going to try to make a read out of this. As you can see, we have plenty of time to make a read, have our have our routes develop out on the field, and then GG's. Stop getting beat by this because it's not that great. And, yeah, um, if you guys have any recommendations on anything that you guys want to see on the channel, leave it down in the description below. This one wasn't a recommendation. I just figured that I needed to bring this to you guys because a lot of people are trying to run this, but a lot of people don't know how to block this. This is something that I don't know if EA should patch. Um, I know that everybody within the community is actually, they are, they're complaining more about the 335-odd mess that is has been going on because it's just kind of OP right now. But then you got people that are blocking, and then you got people that are running this, which is, this is an actual glitch. This is an actual bug in the game that no one knows why it's actually there but this could potentially be the most game breaking thing in the game and you can't stop it if if you don't know how to stop it you're never going to be able to stop it but yeah i have rambled long enough hopefully you guys can start beating people that are trying to run this type these types of glitches and, and stuff like that yeah so 
I'm going to get on out of here. My name is Pony Montana. You guys, as always, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Two fingers, y'all. Peace.